What's up, y'all? This is Jason with EECC Travels. How's it going? We are in beautiful Oceanside, right here at Oceanside Harbor. It's a beautiful day, awesome beach. We are parked up right here on it, and Elisa is inside the van. She is about to give you guys a tour. Not a tour, but she's gonna show you how we organize it. So let's get to it. Well, hello there. So I'm gonna show you how we live in this van while we travel because when we go out, we can travel for weeks at a time and this is our home. So we've got to bring everything with us, not just for living, but for our business. So we're running a business out of a van, if that's not crazy. But let's start in the cab area. So up above me, there is this big, storage space and up here i mean you can see there's a guitar up there that's how big the space is we carry two full-size chairs we've got a guitar it is winter so we have uh scarves and things like that stuck up here but also we have these awesome backpacking chairs so they're really small and fold up in this we have two of them they take up very little space and so if we're going somewhere for the day we can throw these in our backpacks and take them with us but lots of good storage area up here on the back of the chair, this is our mobile office. So you can see we've got our laptops in here. We carry, that is a portable hard drive. These are um, sticks for our cameras, more sticks for our cameras, chargers, things like that. This is fantastic because this stuff needs to stay tight and secure. So keeping it on the back of this chair keeps it nice and snug and when we're going down the road with me working I can sit in the front seat and just reach over and grab my laptop and pull it out and work while we're going down the road. This right here is proof that Winnebago used every little bit of space in this van. So this compartment right here was just extra space from going from the cab into the house area and they've made this a great storage bin. This bin actually goes all the way underneath me, all the way to the wall. So you can fit a lot under here and it's got a lock on it. So if you've got valuables or things that you need to secure, you can close this and lock it. But we keep things in here like our foldable grocery bags, candles, our locks for our bikes, uh, flashlights, Gorilla tape because you have to secure things in a van, <laughs> batteries, an extra fan, things like that. But this is a great storage bin. And it goes way back. It goes on. back here, it goes this way, it goes that way. There's a lot of space in here. Now we're gonna move into the kitchen area. And while I'm down here, let's show you the bottom cabinets first. So in this big drawer, I love this drawer. Look how big it is, it's huge. And we bought these dividers. At, this one came from Walmart, this one came from Amazon. But every gadget imaginable we carry in our van with us. Uh, spoons, measuring cups, tongs, scissors, cutlery. And then this little bin here lifts out and underneath it we have little happy camper mitts because you can bake in here. This is a convection microwave oven. So if we're baking then we need these, but for the most part we don't. So they stay underneath the cutlery. Um, we, can, we have this little bin here with chip clips and Sharpie pens, things like that. A hot plate because these countertops, you don't want to put a, anything hot on, so we carry the hot plate. We even carry a knife sharpener because just because you're traveling on the road doesn't mean you can't have a sharp knife. You have to have a sharp knife. Gotta have a sharp knife. Sure. And a very high quality chef's knife. Yes. <laughs> it's a must. This drawer here also is very, very deep. So it's a skinny drawer, but it's very deep and long. And this is where we keep our cleaning supplies. So we've got our Dawn. This is fantastic for an RV because you can just spray, spray, spray. It sits in and then you just come back and wipe it. And then all you have to do is rinse it so you're conserving water. And we keep our lighter because we need this for um, lighting our candles. And every now and then you gotta light a pilot light. And then we have antibacterial wipes right here for cleaning all of our surfaces and everything fits nicely in that drawer. You know that refrigerators are not actually magnetic, so getting magnets, they're not gonna stick. 
So remember I showed you that Gorilla Putty, that's what we use. So we put our Gorilla Putty on the back of our magnets. And what we do is every state that we have traveled to gets a magnet. We do have to spend the night in the state for it to count. And then there's some fun activities that we've done down there. Inside the refrigerator is nothing fancy. We've got drinks, condiments down here. Um, we keep lunch meat, things like that in here. And then we have nothing in the freezer, but we do have an ice tray in there. With ice in it. With ice in it. This is awesome. So this is a magnetic thermostat, which obviously we can't magnetize. But again, that Gorilla Putty is gold in an RV. So we have that on here. So it tells us our temperature and the humidity. Because as you know, when you travel in an RV, humidity can be an issue. If it's too humid, you need a dehumidifier. If it's not humid enough, you may need like a humidifier. Especially when you live in the South. Yes. Like so we do. In Louisiana, when this thing's parked up, we need a dehumidifier in it to draw the moisture out. So this is a Spices. Yeah, this is awesome. This came with the Winnebago. I think that's awesome. So these track systems and things like that that came standard in our Winnebago. We did not have to purchase this and it's perfect to hold all the spices in. We did add the paper towel rack. Love this one. It fits perfectly right here. Little tip on paper towels. The Viva brand paper towel, the towels stick to each other. So see, it's not going to come. It doesn't unroll as you're driving. Right, because we've tried that with a standard roll of paper towels. If you have your window down, they just start flapping <laughs> back in the RV where these don't And do they that. absorb well too. They're really good paper towels, yeah. On our countertops, we keep it as pretty minimal as possible. Right here, we have have a dish rag or you know a drying cloth and then this is an absorbing uh, pad so when we wash dishes we just open this up wash the dishes put them on here then dry them and then we just fold everything back like that and put it away so it stays nice and clean and then things that we collect along the way so we have a little cactus over there because we bought this van in Arizona so that's for that and then it's December so we have a little Christmas tree right here and then we keep keep soap and hand sanitizer. And again, we use the Gorilla Putty to hold these down so they're not moving around. Let's get into the cabinets. This is where you can make or break living in a van. I think we did pretty good here. So all of our pots and pans are in one place. These shelves make a huge, huge difference because then you're not cramming everything up in the, the cabinet. You have dividers, you have areas of putting things. So what all do we have up here? So first off is our pots and pans. This set is really cool. You've got two skillets and a pot and they all condense down into this because you're using multiple purposes. So here's the pot. And then we keep these little dividers in here. You can find these at Dollar Tree. Very just important. To, to keep things from scratching up. So you've got a small skillet, a large skillet, and a pot. The lid fits here and here. And then this is the coolest thing. So what's the big problem with skillets is the handle stick out. This is a removable handle. So when you get ready to cook, you just go like this, lock it into place, and it's not going anywhere. Then when you get ready, you're done cooking, press the buttons, and it comes right off. So this is such a space saver. It makes it easy for washing the dishes because with the handle, you can't really wash the dishes right. very well. But now you can, they'll fit right, take the handle off, they'll fit right into the sink, no problemo. This is a really neat set. It took me a while to find what I wanted. This is in our Amazon store, and pretty much anything that, you, that we show you that we bought from Amazon is linked in our Amazon store. It's down below. So if you're interested in any of this, that's how you can find it. Okay, what else we have in here? We have a cutting board and we have baking dishes because like I said, this is a convection microwave. So we do have small baking dishes. Right here, we have a mixing bowl and I am gonna show you. This is cool and this is our colander. So it's a collapsible colander. So it takes up a lot less space when it collapses down. And this is probably my favorite little kitchen gadget and this is my kettle. Let me show you how it works. See, here's my kettle. It pops up like this. Handle comes up. You plug it in, boom, you have a tea kettle. When you're done, wash it, put the handle down, collapse, and goes back in the bag. That's it for this cabinet. These two cabinets here are our pantry. 
So let me open it up and show you what we've done. Bins are everything. So find bins that will fit in your rig. These bins here came from Ikea, so I don't have any links for those, but different, we just went to Ikea and we had an idea of the sizes of the areas and we found bins that would fit. So, so example, this is our coffee bin. So we've got our coffee pods for our Keurig. We've got our Splenda, our creamer, and then this is the little packets for water. And then we can just pull it down, make coffee and put it back up. Behind the coffee is where we keep all of our condiment bottles, our steak sauce, soy sauce, hot sauce, things like that go back there. So in this next one, I've pulled the bin out. This, where, this is where we keep our Ziploc bags, aluminum foil, bottled water, things like that. So we've got every size Ziploc bag, just like you would at home. Um, we have extra paper towels, olive oil, cooking oil, avocado oil, and then our bottled water goes in here. More pantry, this is where all the food is. So I do have a toaster right here, a two slot toaster, and butter that I keep at room temperature, not in the refrigerator up here. And then again, the same bins that we had in this side, we have over here. So we have a small snack bin and then a food bin here. And I'm just gonna kinda pull them out and show you the area behind the bins. You can keep big items like raisin bread, cereal, full loaves of bread. We're low on bread, that's all I got left. Who doesn't like raisin bread, <laughs> really? But yeah, so even behind the bins is more storage. These cabinets go very, very deep, so use all of your space. In this last bin is all of our camera gear. So if you're not a YouTuber like we are, you have a whole nother cabinet. Yeah. But so we have these baskets. I found these at Walmart and I love these because they fit perfectly up there. And you can just see. All my stuff, you guys. All my gimbals and yep. cameras and lenses and filters and battery chargers, you know, all that stuff. But yeah, if you don't need that stuff, you got all of that extra space. And then also, again, like we said, use space behind the bins. We have a full size um, tripod that goes back there. So this is a huge area. We carry a lot of camera gear with us and we can fit literally everything we need up here. These are magnetic little bins here. We call them our nightstands. So right in here, we keep basically everything we need for sleeping or like when you are done for the day, you can take everything out of your pockets and drop them in your bin. But I love this because I can lay in bed at night and if it's light, I can just grab my Nod Pod and lay it over my face and I never have to get out of the bed and reach anything. My chapstick, my earbuds, because I do listen to stuff while sure we're sleeping. Sure everybody the Nod Pod is. Oh, in case you're wondering what a Nod Pod is. It is this. At first I thought it was a chair. <laughs> it's a weighted bean bag. It's really soft and you just can put it over your eyes and if you can't block out all the light, that'll do it. This right here is something that I just personally like. I am one of those that drinks water all night long and there's no nightstands or tables in this area. So I was like, I need a place to put a water bottle. So I found these on Amazon and they're just little sticky shelves. So uh, basically they, they use command strips to hold them on. And I bought a pack of two, but Jason didn't want his. So I just put mine up and I've got it right here above my USB port. And so at night, I just have my water bottle there, wake up during the night, reach up, grab my water bottle, put it back up. And it's a really sturdy shelf for as small as it is. I mean, I'm not putting anything heavy on it, but that's nice. Okay, these two bins are just kind of like our stuff. Um, this one right here is dirty laundry, you know, so you gotta have a laundry basket somewhere. And I do have a bag inside, so when we're, when we're ready to do laundry, I just take everything, dump it in the bag, and take it into the laundromat. I also keep my backpack up here. So it doesn't, I love this one because it folds up so it doesn't take up a lot of space and I can just put it right there. And then this is just all kinds of random stuff that we carry. I got some neat stuff in here. If you don't have one of the these. Seals. Yeah, we have sea lines behind us. If you don't have one of these guns, you're missing out. These massage guns are awesome. So we carry our massage gun and all the little 
uh, pieces for it. Vitamins, a bag of chargers, COVID tests. It's like a catch all yeah. basket. Candles, all kinds of stuff goes in here. Okay, and our last cabinet is where we keep RV related stuff. Okay, so right here is our power bank. Love this thing and our DVD player. So let me pull out the power bank. This thing is awesome. So we charge it and it's like a giant battery. So then all you have to do is turn it on. You've got USBs in the front. You've got the 12 volt right here. You've got a light. This is where how you charge it. But then on this side, you have 110. So if you press this button, the 110s come on. So what we do up here, why we keep it where we keep it is number one, it fits nicely, but then also if we're boondocking and don't want to turn on the generator, all we have to do is unplug the TV from its socket and turn and plug it right into here yeah, and we outlet. can watch TV. Outlet right there. Yep. Two of them, two 110s. So we keep a DVD player in here because sometimes when you're in state parks or national parks, you're too far away from a signal to be able to stream. And if you wanna watch something, we bring DVDs along with us. So if we're just in the mood for a movie and can't get a signal, we always carry one with us. Here's our last bin, but behind the bin is where we keep our DVDs. So we just bought one of these pouches here and I just brought a bunch of DVDs from home. So we always have something to watch and this is cool because I've got, I don't know, 40 movies right here or more, probably more than 40 and they just fit right up like that. Okay, this is our RV stuff. So an extra hat. This is really cool. This is a picnic table cover. So it covers the top and the seats and it fits just like that. We have, these are little food tents. These are kind of cool, they go like that and you can put them over your food which we've never used <laughs> no we haven't but we have them uh bug repellent more bug repellent more bug repellent more bug repellent we do a lot of camping in the south y'all. yeah this right here is a beach blanket so instead of having two big beach towels we have this which is big enough to fit two people on and it fits in this very tiny space we have binoculars because when you go to some places like national parks and there's wildlife, you want to be able to see them. So we got a really good pair of binoculars. And then card games, because why not? I mean, this is something I remember from being a kid as we would go camping and we would bring card games and play games as a family. We got Uno. Uno, Faith 10, Life, and then just some regular playing cards. I'm surprised we don't have Skip Bow. We, we love that no, game. No, we too. don't. <laughs> and we don't have too many of those. Yeah, random bungee cord. So we also have storage underneath our beds. So this bed is Jason's and underneath his is mainly our tanks. So water tanks and things like no that. No storage there. But there's a tiny little storage container oh, right yeah. here that we, it's not really that tiny because we can fit like six pairs dark. of shoes in there. That's my, uh, yeah, how many shoes? Like six different pairs of shoes are in there. Yeah, there's a lot y'all. Yep. Nice uh, shoe cubby. But underneath this bed is all storage. So all we have to do, grab the pillows. Put them on my side. Put them under this bed. Lift. And lift. And, and it stays open. A little hydraulic there. Look at all that stuff, you guys. So much stuff. Oh yeah, so in here, I'll just kinda, I'm not gonna take everything out, but just kinda give you a rundown. I definitely see the extra toilet paper. Yes, extra toilet paper, some more bins in case you need more bins, a big extension cord, tool, tool bag, bag that has everything imaginable in it. You need your tools, y'all. Yep, here is a two folding tables, one small, two different styles of folding tables from where we're camping. Yeah, wanna cook outside or whatever. Here is our grill. So we have a flat top grill and a standard grill. It is electric, so we can grill. use it inside and outside. And here is an extra burner right here. So we can, if we wanna cook outside, we can use the extra burner. Also, we have an insulated bag. This is great for taking to the beach. We're just more or less showing you all the storage, yeah. not every single thing that we have. That may be another video. Yeah, our extra pillow right here. And then up against the side is where we keep our table. Yeah. It's right here. So the table can connect right here or over there. But Which we've been using it here right now, but we pop it off and stick it in here. Mm -hmm. We're not using it because we don't use it a whole lot. We don't use it a lot and it's just better to have it in here so it's out of our way. Yeah. And if we ever need it, you see how easy it is to get into this area. Yeah. 
and then we have one other spot right here that's really really deep and we keep extra blankets beach towels things like that in here also our lights so if we ever are posted up at a campsite for a long time and want to decorate our campsite we do have lights in there that easy Ta -da! and the bathroom so we have customized this teeny tiny little bathroom it actually has a good bit of storage this is a big closet and as you can see that we can fit a lot of clothes in here so there was a bar up here but we decided that we could fit more on the folding shelves so we took the bar out and we just fold everything and i mean look how many clothes are in here summer clothes winter clothes we can fit a ton in here and there's still space this drawer is massive look at this so in here we keep our socks underwear washcloths uh, cough drops <laughs> cough drops medicines more cleaning supplies when you um, got limited uh, yeah. storage you you kind of merge everything yeah laundry because you got to live on the road you got to do laundry the little um porta packs to go in the toilet area we keep all that in here but we have customized um the van came with the wooden plank but we put a mat in here because big difference it's so much more comfortable oh god and something else we have had this van for six seven months now and we've never showered in here we shower we just don't shower in the van so that's why we put the mat down we did remove the shower curtain which and, is way better now yes and we removed the shower hose so they're in the van we have them in that storage bin underneath my bed so if we ever do need to take a shower we can put all this stuff back up but for the main part we don't shower in here so having all that stuff hanging was just taking up space yeah, we shower at like the rv parks yeah, rv parks or, you mm -hmm. know somebody's house yeah <laughs> and then the real thing i wanted to show in here so there is storage in the medicine cabinet but we added more storage here so these are these came from amazon these are just little stick on bins and so i was able to pull all of this stuff out of the medicine cabinet and make more space so, and they're easy grab this is stuff that we use a lot of course we're going to brush our teeth every day brush our hair every day use the the lotion for our hands um the shaving things like that stuff that we use a lot are right here and easy to grab we're use the lotion for our hands honey yes we use the lotion for our hands and then this little bag is all of our chargers so we do have oh, i will show you this because it's kind of cool this is a portable water pick so you know for cleaning in your teeth and you've got the different um, heads that go right there but look how small it is these things are normally big and sit on your counter but we have one of these that we can carry with us in the van we have one at home and we love it so yeah we had to get one to take on the road with us okay so these are the bins that we use in our medicine cabinet see they're flexible and yes and they're small <laughs> this is old spice aftershave i love it my dad old spice yeah yeah my dad used it and i just love it so these are great because um, the shelves are different sizes, but because these bins collapse like this, you can kind of cram them in the different spaces and they fit really good and hold a lot. Okay, and well, everyone needs medicines. And so we have a medicine kit right here. And I love this little bag because again, it's collapsible and I can shove it up in a corner. But when you open it up, see, I have a little bit of everything in here. I've got band-aids, headache medicine, stomach medicine, all different kinds of cold medicine, Tums, big band-aids. Everything I need is right here and it fits in a very small space, but I've got everything I need. Here's our outside bins is more of my territory we got water hoses disposable gloves i got little bins in here where i keep my grease my water filters my water psi gauges things of that nature which i'm actually gonna put some hooks out here and hang my hoses there i saw another guy do that i really like that idea and that's gonna free up some space for down here uh, there's the outdoor shower right here all right right down here next to my water control center yeah uh, and plumbing control center this is where i keep my electrical cord my 30 amp electrical cord my surge protector and i got my black water flush hose back over here i'm sorry i say black water my black tank <laughs> hose okay that's it for the tour you guys alisa keeps this thing pretty nice and organized she keeps a tight ship
or van I should say but if you guys are ever in the area here at Oceanside they have this little place where we're at today like we'd mentioned Oceanside Harbor you can actually park up here there's a lot of RVs vans of that nature camper trailers there's a boat launch right over here it's right near the marina but you can stay up to five nights here at only $30 a night like I said they have a dump station it's right here on the beach it's a super super cool area a lot of people have been out here flying kites and and surfing and it's a great place to stay if you're out in the area and your RV definitely check this place out Oceanside Harbor here in Oceanside California well guys that is it for us if you like the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you're new to our channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you are notified we post videos weekly We'd love to have you guys. This has absolutely nothing to do with organization, but add some nice atmosphere to the van. We added lights. So on both sides of the van going all the way down are strips of lights that we can control with this little gadget here. Check that out. And the colors change. Yup. See them changing? Here's the other side, y'all. Isn't that awesome? It's a groovy machine. When you got the lights on, it looks really cool at night. It does. I, I love turning it on at night. Parked up at the RV parks and stuff. People really like them. See you next time. See ya. Bye.